looking at the subscription in app purchases subscription using the google play billing library version 4 so this is their official document you can just read everything here let me first show you the demo app that we are going to create in this video so this is the main activity which just a subscribe button at the bottom you just click subscribe then this is the store activity the store activity for now only have one uh, one product which is this per month subscription when the user clicks that then they will be presented with this bottom sheet then when you click subscribe then they will be subscribed so when you go back to the app again this is what is going to happen now the user is a subscriber into our app when they try to subscribe again they will get an error because now they are already subscribed into our subscription let's go to play store and verify play store profile payments and subscription subscriptions then this is the subscription this is the subscription so go back to a repository we are going to implement these steps only seven steps to make the in purchases subscription to work in our app so we'll just follow the official documents from google so the first thing that we need to do is to add the dependencies in our app just copy this dependency go back to your project you open the gradle scripts the build gradle you go to dependencies you paste that now you need to add the permission under the manifest file go back to the repository this is the permission that you need to add you paste it there therefore you sync your project when we are done we need to initialize our first step is to initialize the billing client with the purchases updated listener if you check here they say initialize which is our step one establish connection to google play is going to be our step two step three step four right so i've i've written everything the, all the codes they are here you just need to follow these steps follow these steps right so we'll start off with this one the billing client you just need to copy this code and paste it on create method so go back to our project so this is our activity right let me go back to the home screen i mean our repository this one is our main activity this one is our store activity this is where we need to write all the steps right so we go to our store activity on create method you paste here right <coughs> So if you're getting an error of billing client, it means that we, cre we didn't create an object of billing client. You just need to create it there, billing, then billing client, right? So this one, verify and establish connection. We are going to implement them in our next steps. <coughs> so we go back to a repository. You check step two. Step two is to establish a connection to Google Play. Copy this code. You go to your... Now, you go outside on create, outside. You paste it there. So our error now it's gone there because now we have this method. 
So this one is going to connect our into our Google Pay. After connecting there, it's going to say on billing setup finished. It means that it's successfully connected. When it's successfully connected, that's when we need to start showing the product to the user. Where are we going to start showing the product? Into the store activity. This is our store activity, this one. So this is our button. Né? This is our button. So we go to step three, which is show activity. Show product, sorry. You paste there. Then now, <coughs> this method, it's this one that we are going to call um, after connecting to the Google Play. Né? Therefore, we need to add our subscription product ID into, into this queue list. Where do you get this one? You need to go to your your Google Play console. You go to the app. This is the app that you need. The app, it must be published on Play Store. As you can see here is the prerequisite here. You need an app that is already published on Play Store. So you go to the app. You scroll down. You go to monetize. Under monetize, you go to subscription. Then this is the, um, the product ID that is in our show product into SKU list. Then we are adding it into this array see so the SKU type it's subscription it must be subs right so now when you query the um the details this method is going to be called whenever you get this from the google play then this method is going to be called then after this method is called then we are going to return um a list of all the products that we uh, created in our Google Play console. So for now, we only use this one, which is sub premium. So the price, which is 29.99. So it's this price here. So we need to create a for loop. Into the for loop, we are creating an object of SKU details. Then we are passing the list, this list, then it's going to create an object. Then in that object, we say, if the SKU is equal to this one, né? if you have more uh, product list, then you're going to say else SKU details get SKU is equal to, for an example, maybe you have this one month, like that. Therefore, you are going to update the UI again. So again, since it's there, you need to add it here like this. If when you want to add another product, you add it there. Yes, but in this example, we are only looking at one product. <coughs> so when the SKU is equal to this sub, uh, premium we need to update our button then we set the text into our button it's this one then we are going to set this is the price concatenated with per month therefore this is the price we concatenated with per month therefore we set on click listener when the user um clicks to our product like this then when they click here we need to launch the billing we need to launch the billing purchase flow right we need to launch the billing purchase flow which is the show product launch launch purchase flow we are passing the SKU details so this one is our next step you go to 
the repository step 4 copy this what happened you go back to your project you paste the launch purchase flow so you need to update this into your activity so my activity it's store activity store activity okay now we need to verify the payment when the user is done clicking on subscribe for an example when the user clicks subscribe like this then we need to process this uh, payment and verify it so to verify it we just need to go to subscription just need to go to verify payment then paste it there therefore what's going to happen then when the user clicks subscribe then this method is going to be called this one on purchase updated then on purchase updated this is going to return the list of purchases made on the app therefore we need to pass the list of purchases as an object to verify sub purchases then in this app we are going to acknowledge the payment then to acknowledge the payment we need the purchase the purchase token from the purchase Therefore, on acknowledge purchase response me method, this is going to happen. When you call this method, this is where you need to set the premium update accordingly. So in my app, I'm using the preferences, the shared preferences to save um, the 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 premium so as i as you can see here one it stay it says premium zero it's no premium right so here i'm just checking the token the purchase time as well as the order id so the second step we need to handle the pending transactions just copy this code go to your Android studio you paste it there then what is going to happen here this one it checks um, the purchases the subs the subscription purchases therefore it's going to verify the payment for an example maybe a user was purchasing your subscription in your app then your app crashes therefore there will be a pending um, purchases there then when the you when the user goes back to the app then on resume is going to be called then we need to verify uh, the payment again that the user purchased while he was using the app and then the last step is to check the subscription check the subscription so this code we are going to write it on the um, on the splash screen for an example when i go back here you see so this is the main activity we just purchased the the subscription so it's not yet updated i close the app and then when i open it this is the splash screen therefore the splash screen is going to check the subscription then after checking the subscription then it's going to update the set premium right then now the user is subscribed so we need to go back to our project you go to your splash screen therefore you paste the method there this method check then just call it on create method so this method check subscription um, as you can see it says on billing setup finished this is when you um, start the connection you start the connection 
then when it's connected successfully then you need to check you need to check using the query query purchase exing then this one is going to return the list of the subscriptions and this list it's the one that you are going to check whether the user has this subscription right so this one is, is it's always going to return this list as long as the user is subscribed then when i go to play store i check the subscriptions this is the active subscription for now so that code this code is going to check the subscription whether it is active or not if it's active then it's going to come to this method and then update accordingly here and then else if there is no subscription with this product id then we need to change the set premium to zero then zero it means that the user does not have um subscription in our app then that's when they need to purchase the subscription again so we go to our main activity then in our main activity that's when we need to update this well, let me cancel this one So on the main activity, we want to update this text, this text view, if the user has the, the subscription. So this is our text view. So we need to check if get, get subscription. If get subscription is equals to one, then we need to set the text. Set the text and say subscribed. else then we need to say not subscribed not subscribed just like that so we can just run our app see it says subscribed because of um, on our splash screen if we can check here the sub sub test then you go and check the uh, average Subtest, go to the locket. I see this is what is it's returned here. Purchase. This is the object. So this is the order ID. Then this is the purchase product ID. Therefore say start auto renewal false then acknowledge true so yeah this is this is the check subscription method you you need it on your subscription on your splash screen